Hello and welcome to part three of Passing Storm. I'm George Cole. So this was finishing the painting. Part three is detail. And we still had to do a little this and a little that. So let me tell you what I did. I was really upset with the uh, foreground. It's a lot of green. So uh, I put in the aspen trees because it was fall and uh, late September. So um, that really changed things and I really liked it bringing that brightness up in the front. So that's a big change, as well as working with the clouds and the mountains and some other things all around, particularly with some smaller brushes. So if you want to see how to finish a painting, this is the one to do it with. And uh, get outside and paint. Paint with your friends. Get critiques and do not be afraid of a blank canvas. In other words, get out there and paint. Keep painting, that's the thing. Uh, and paint a lot, that's how you get good. So, all right, let's get to painting. Okay, bye. Hello and welcome to part three of Passing Storm. And uh, yeah, let's get this thing done today, okay? Today is detail day and um, I have just, um, I worked up here a little bit around this area to uh, show the, um, I want to try to get some more light up there. But I think the other thing is, I want to get some color there. I've got so much green in here um, that I'm going to make this more of a fall scene because this was fall and uh, get some aspen in uh, this area right here. Even though the reference doesn't show it, I want to get some warms down below. So uh, let's start with that and uh, get started with my plan. And I'm going to spend more time up in here to get some brightness up here and maybe some more darkness in the sky. All right, with that, let's make some, some yellow, dull yellow. So I got some Hansa yellow deep, and I've got some cat yellow, and I've got some light gray. and a little bit more Hansa. And let's get started with, looks like, let's see here. Let's get started with a uh, number four uh, Shiraz. So I'm gonna loosen that up a little bit. A Shiraz is a really nice light brush. And I'm going to experiment with this gray-yellow I have here so I don't overdo it and get some yellow in here. And I'm going to get some more yellow and we'll carve out some trees also around it. Just kind of doing a pattern and I'll make it a little bit more dominant. Just trying to figure out where these things are going to go. And this will be my dominant yellow in the center. I'm getting back. All right. So let's get some more Hansa in this mixture. A little bit of pink. So it's a little brighter now. I didn't add any, any gray to it. here and here and maybe a little bit in here and here. You can kind of see I'm doing some, it looks like I've got some pine trees in there that look pretty good. All right, now I'm going to add more Hansa, a little bit more pink. So I better show you what I'm doing with pink. This is a Gamblin Radiant Magenta here. 
That's the pink I'm talking about. Just a little bit. And I'm now I'm going to get more red in there, and I'm mixing red into the mixture with yellow ochre gold, rich color. A little bit of transparent oxide brown, transparent oxide, sorry, transparent oxide red. And I'm going to be working that too in here. Just to get some color in this kind of drab green area. And yeah, I know I'm kind of composing this my own way. And, but you know, we're artists, we can do this kind of stuff. And then what I'd like to do is just get a few um, dark darks darker on the bottom. So I'm going to go uh, with a little bit of Viridian in this mixture, which will kind of gray it down a little bit. And we are going to now get some of these grayer colors in here, more subdued. I think I need some brighter stuff up in here. If you want to get a good strong yellow, get some Hansa up in here. Okay. And if that works so well, why don't we run a little bit of this color on the bottom. And to get down there, I need to get a good angle on here. Come on, let's get some. Some stronger pigment here. Subtle, 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 subtle. And we're going to get some lighter green around it. Or lighter gray. So I'm going to get some lighter gray into this mixture. And let's see what that does. Got a little bit of purple. That was some diazosine. Purple. And so we're going to have the bright and the dull. Get a little bit of turp in there. Again, so. Game saw. And that's starting to brighten up that dull area in front. Let me get back. Now I've got something going here. Yes, I like it. And now we're going to get some lights in those, in these uh, trees here. So we're going to get some, let's go back to this whatever hodgepodge mixture we have here of these warmer colors along with the gray. And let's mix it all together, see if we can make it with some green. So uh, let's get some Viridian and some Ultra Blue. And now some Emerald. We still don't have it. I need dull, so I'm going to dull it down with some yellow ochre. Yellow ochre. And a little bit of permanent green. I need to dull it just a little bit more with yellow ochre. Yellow ochre. Let's see what that does. I'm going to get a smaller brush and do some work here. Before I get back up into the clouds. All right. New paper towel.
And I've got a number two Shiraz. Just a soft brush. So we definitely have our darks. So let's get some lights in here. And work them up in here too. And you get the idea of what I'm doing here. And I don't have, I think, enough sufficient time to do all these pine trees. Their justice with the time I have. But you get the idea of I'm getting these nice lights on the left side of the trees. And let's get these down in here too. I'm not doing it justice, I know. But you get the idea of where I'm going with this. All right, I think I need to come back and get some darks in those trees too. But now, let's see what we can do with some Looks like I've got some ultra blue here off to the side. And let's do some, just some work up in here to bring some of this green color, this dark green, up in here. Now, I want to go to an even smaller brush and move over to this area here. So now, I've got a, uh, gosh, this thing is small, a number two, uh, 279, Rosemary. Let's move this over. Let's get some yellow ochre. Some transparent oxide red. Let's get some pink in there. Naples. And gray. A little bit more gold. And some blue. Knock her down. Blue. So this is a cool warm with that blue in there. This is the cool, this is the cool, and this is the warm. So with that, you can get up here and work these nice snow fields. And I did more work here to show mountains behind this uh, first range here. And let me see what I can do with some of this lighter stuff up in here to show light back in these mountains here. That they're kind of like backlit. And that's what I'm doing now. Let's so show some snow up there. So I'm going to go to white. Let me 
see if I can do some down below. I'm going to add some ceruleum and add some of that in this area here. Because I don't know what this stuff is. If it's snow or, or what it is. But it's up in there. Now we really need some darks in there. I'm going to add more transparent oxide red. Transparent oxide red. Some of this bluey stuff. Whatever this mess is over here. And I'm going to add some good strong strokes. Okay. Let's add some cer uh, ceruleum, or if you have some um, something you like to make uh, skies with, I I like Sevres blue. Sevres blue is what I use here. Okay, I've cleaned my brush, and we're going to. Add some blue here to show that there is some light behind these, these mountains. Here and here and here. And I'll put some up in here too. All right, looking at that reference, I need to get some, some darks in here. So I'm going to go to Cobalt. 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 Darker gray. Darker gray. Boy, that was too much. There we go, and a little bit more gray, and I put some purple in there just to give it some life. That's what I'm talking about, <laughs> right there. Carry it up there, and I'm going to have some down in here as I'm trying to get some drama up in the sky. Now it's pretty rough edge, and I'm going to soften that edge here in just a minute. I think that's doing the deed. Now I need more whites in the clouds. White, 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 and a big old white right in here. So I'm using some titanium. And now I'm going to get a bigger brush and soften those edges. All right. Let me see what else I can do here. Okay. Let's get some lighter. Before I get up there, let's do a little bit lighter up in. Before I change brushes. right up in some of these areas here. And I'll get a little pink in there too. And 
And I may have overdone it, so let me get a little bit more dark. A few dark spots right up in here. All right, I'm cleaning my brush. I'm getting away from that mouth. <laughs> and let's soften up the clouds next. <clears throat> As I, I know you, you're wondering, why do I jump around to these different things? Well, I think in my brain, what I'm thinking is, I need to soften these things. And um, so I, you know, I, I think there's just a thing after a while, you just have some sort of two intuition to how to balance these things out while getting some nice shapes and things like that. Okay, so let's get this wider brush, and I'm just going to dry it out. So I'm drying it out, and I'm going into the dark, and soften these edges. And I'm going to Make a kind of a medium color here. It's a lot of light in it. And soften some of this with this color here. I still need these important darks. And if you lose them, get in there and bring them back. Just get in there and get them back, as I say. Easier said than done. And I've lost my lights again, so I'm going to go back to my whites and get a few good strokes right in here. All right. This is a little too defined right here, this edge, so I'm going to take my, my in-between guy that I just made. And I have a transition between darks and lights now. And then you can go back to darks if you need to. And that's what I'm doing here now. You go, why are you getting down in your mountain here? I'm just softening some edges. Because you know me in hard edges, I... This needs to maybe have some a break in it. This was too much of a smile. And let's go back to Cerulean's sky color. And let's get some of that in with some light gray and some dark gray. And so too light. Let's get some ultra in there. There we go. And here we go. I'm going to use some of this warmer color we have had up here, and I'm going to put it right in this area in here. And I think in here too. It's too much! Sorry. And now bring some blue, I think, right in here. 
and here. Now soften these guys just a little with some blues. All right, I'd, what I want to do with the remaining time is uh, work on these aspen trees here and here. And I just need some get some verticals in here. And make them look a little bit more aspen -like. So that's what I'm going to do until the dinger dings because I know I'm really pushing this time thing a little too much. You don't have much time. And let's get back to maybe some orange and some Hamza, Hamza yellow. Okay, yellow. And let's get this thing going. Here we go. I think what I'm going to do is put a pine tree kind of halfway up. So let me get a blue, yellow ochre, Tad yellow medium, and I'll get a pine tree right in here and here. And that kind of evens these guys out just a little bit. To say, hey, I'm an important pine tree. I'm going to let you Aspen take over our neighborhood. Okay. Just waiting for that dinger to ding. It's always in the back of my mind. But if it dings, and I don't have enough time to say thank you so much for coming by, I really appreciate it. And I hope you enjoy this painting as much as I did. I'm so glad I got those um, worms up in the front here. I really, really like them. I think this combination, it's, it's really subtle of Hansa, Hansa Deep and um, Hansa Yellow Deep and Orange. It's just a nice color to say, hey, we got this. Oh, sorry for that fan noise. Yeah, let's get some more red in here. Knock it down with the gold. We just need some of these nice warm colors. Whew! I think I can bring this to an end. And safely say, I really like this, how this came out. I probably have a little bit more room to work on these trees, but I just know 
I need to get back and judge this a little bit of what should be light and dark in the trees. Anyway, thank you so much for coming by. And this is it. Part three is done. All right.